Yeah, hello. Hey, George. I'm fine, honey. <laughs> yeah, what are you up to? Oh. That's hey, I meant to ask you. Do you know this lady named Destiny Whitfield? She works at Eli lately. That's your what? Your wife? Wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. We've been seeing each other for six months. So, wait. So, when, when were you planning to tell me? Oh, hey, hey uh, um, I mean, we, we, we are, we are, we are good friends. This lady is cool. She's laid back. She's really respectful. She's my friend. We are really close. We've been friends for the past two months. Hey, yeah, she's your wife though, but did I know? What do you mean it's a conflict of interest? Conflict of interest for who? Me or you? No, 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 no. It's not a conflict of interest for both of us. Because see, I didn't know if you had a wife and, and a wife whose name was Destiny or whose name is Destiny with you. Okay. No, 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 no. See, I'm not going to end my friendship with a nice female who me and her, we have a good chemistry. We've been hanging out together. Yeah, we've been hanging out together. What do you mean? Oh, my God. Okay, I don't know. It's your wife. Let's just leave it like that. Oh, you're afraid for your wife to find, find out that you see in me. See, but you have yourself to blame. Though. I'm not going to leave my friendship with her because all of a sudden you got a huge conflict of interest. You scared. Your, your, your tail is up your behind like a little puppy dog. Look, let me tell you something. If you want me to, if you want me to sabotage my, my, my friendship with her, you, will, you, my friend, you have to bribe me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, you can't just stop talking to me, George. You can't just stop talking to me. If you just stop talking to me, you don't know what I got on you that can really mess up your whole relationship. So, you see, see, the mistake you made was you should have told me that you was married and leave me the option if I want to be a home wrecker or be a nightmare for another woman, which I would have never done. Do you understand? And all of a sudden, you find out that we are friends. You want to stop talking to me? I, I started doing my homework a long time ago because a lot of y'all men, and y'all got somebody in your life. Some of y'all, y'all marry. And y'all always stick off the ring. So because y'all always stick off your wedding ring, y'all don't have a mark on your hand. Y'all don't have a tattoo for, on your hand from the ring being on your finger all the time so we can't even tell if you're married so if you if you would have told me long time ago i you you would have given me the option and be fair enough so that i wouldn't do such thing but now that you find out that i'm friends with her <laughs> you want to stop talking to me i did my homework i did it very well and while i was doing my homework i did a lot of things while you was laid up in my house and and we were doing all kinds of stuff I had a lot of things on you. I started documenting a lot of things on you. So when this day come, you won't cut me loose and think that you're just going to walk free. Why do I mean she'll bribe me? When people say bribe, what do you think about when you hear the word bribe? Yes, exactly money. You're going to bribe me and when you're done bribing me, I will leave you alone. Because that was I wasn't looking for that kind of relationship. I'm very serious right now. Very serious right now. Listen. You're going to have to pay me $10,000 to leave you alone and not do anything. Oh, you going to call me crazy? You ain't see crazy, yo. You not see no crazy yet. If you don't give me the $10,000, then you will see crazy. That's okay. You can make, you can make payments. And once you make the first payment, 
then I will start to, you know, sabotage my relationship with her small, small, and just try to stay away from her little by little, but I won't totally stay, you know, cut her out of my life until the $10,000 is fully, the payment is fully received. Look, you have yourself to blame, all right? This conversation is over. You know what you got to do so that I can leave Mrs. Destiny Whitfield alone? I know I rung a bell when I said Destiny Whitfield, right? Because your last name Whitfield too? Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, nice last name. But if you want to keep your family together, you will give me my $10,000. Yeah, you, you, you have to pay for my pain and suffering. You lied to me. You lied to me. You got to pay for my pain and suffering. I don't want anything to do with you. And, and as you make the payment, we, we, we're not going to have anything to do with each other. From this moment, as I talk to you, we won't have anything to do with each other, but you better start making the payment. You can make it in full. It's good. 